Uh, we are Tokyo Police Club and we're just outside Emo's at South by Southwest. South by Southwest is where uh, lots of bands come together to play shows in the great city of Austin and drink beer, eat barbecue, enjoy the hot sun. We've checked all three off our, all four I guess, off our uh, checklist <laughs> of things to do at South by Southwest. We were here last year, and last year was kind of our like breaking new band mm -hmm. stuff year. So this year we're just playing a few shows that are uh, a little more easygoing, and then we have more yeah. time to do said things on checklist. Mm. Choose one day to get really drunk and yeah. make that your day and make sure you don't have much to do the next day afterwards. Because that was the first mistake I made last year was uh, on the very first night I was like, oh my god, there's so much, look at this Mexican food and look at this Mexican beer and it, my Canadian stomach couldn't handle it in any way or sort of or form. So uh, our show was spent with me downing Pepto-Bismol the next day. Yeah. So wasted on Pepto Bismol. Yeah, actually. that was our new drug. <laughs> All right, a, well, a tour this... of Austin from two Canadians. Yeah, <laughs> so we've only been here for a few days, but we've got a pretty good handle of at least the main area. This is Sixth Street, and that's Red River right up there, and that's kind of the nexus of everything South by Southwest. It's um, kind of a difference, you know. This this the CMJ Festival in New York, which is a similar type of thing, but in South by Southwest, it just kind of takes over the whole city, and if you like you can't avoid it, it's everywhere. Like you're yeah. just automatically part of it. Where CMJ, you could be in New York and not know what's going on. Yeah. Great thing about Austin for newcomers is that the city's built on a grid, this Yankee style of building a city where all the streets are perpendicular to each other. Mm -hmm. And as such, the blocks of the city all tessellate to form a symmetrical shape. Hey, Much that's weird you would bring that up. <laughs> Why, Greg? Because that's the name of our first single coming out April 22nd. Tessellate. So keep your ears peeled for this mathematical and geometrical theory.